Hey, it's Scott Kubo. I've noticed that Autopilot version 10 is significantly better at merging over for construction cones. And here's an example. This is uh, 2019.32.12.1. Wow. So we've certainly seen this behavior before, but I've never seen it uh, at such high speeds. Uh, that was uh, 45 miles per hour or 70 kilometers an hour. Now let's take a look at this in slow motion. You can see that as the cones are coming on the right, the uh, perceived lane in the autopilot display is narrowing. And autopilot is trying to still stay within that given lane, even though it's ending. And then you can see that all of a sudden it detects that uh, there's a new wider lane and it should be in the lane to its left and it moves over. So I don't think it's necessarily planning ahead per se. It's just that at a certain point suddenly it realizes there's only one lane instead of two. Now we've certainly seen success with uh, managing construction cones on previous versions. But I personally haven't seen it been this consistent. It's always been a little bit hit or miss. Here we are in the dark. <laughs> and you can see wifey doesn't like me uh, using autopilot around cones, but uh, I can tell you it actually works pretty well. But I'm always ready and alert to take over at a moment's notice. Uh, now I've never seen uh, this work at highway speeds, but here we are going about 55 miles per hour or 90 kilometers an hour. And it does it. Now there's been some debate about whether it recognizes actual cones or whether it's just the neural net that looks for drivable space. But I think it is actually identifying cones and Elon had mentioned on a Twitter post recently that this will start rendering in the display soon. So for comparison, uh, this was uh, Autopilot version 8 uh, about a year ago and as we come to this construction zone you can see that it really doesn't notice the cones, it doesn't even notice the construction equipment and it kind of tends to just uh, want to just keep going straight in its lane. So of course I had to take over, and again, this was uh, Autopilot version 8, which was about a year ago. If you're wondering, that little circle there next to the screen is a magnetic uh, I, uh, cell phone holder that uh, has a suction cup to the back of the uh, Tesla screen that I sometimes use. Now, I've noticed, and this is uh, version 9, uh, that it's much better at detecting drivable space, and you can see it recognizes the cones and the construction equipment and goes around it. So even in version 9 there was already some improvements into how the car responds to changes in drivable space. But beyond knowing where the obstacles are, uh, planning the correct path can sometimes be complicated. So still a ways to go but it's exciting to see the progress. Also I will note that if there is a vehicle right next to you uh, autopilot won't merge over for the cones. It won't crash into that vehicle. It'll just go through the cones. So please be careful. That about does it. Enjoy this drive into downtown Los Angeles. And I can't wait for version 2019.36, which appears to have the construction cone visualization. So I'm looking forward to testing that out soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're researching to purchase Tesla and you found it helpful, uh, click on the link in the description and find out how you can get free supercharging. As always, I enjoyed having you along for a drive. Hope you have a really great day and see you in the next video.